Welcome back to Cord Cutting today's breaking news edition. Uh, today we learned that Disney is shutting down its free ad supported streaming service which lives inside the ABC app which is also being shut down. This joins a growing list of cable networks that are shutting down their TV Everywhere apps to promote bigger streaming services. Paramount, Warner Bros. Discovery have been doing it for a while, now Disney's doing the same. Now, Disney Plus, let's be honest, is probably the culprit here. We'll tell you why and what's happening to all this content most likely in a quick second. First though, if you want to learn more about this story, I'll put a link to it in the show notes and in the first pinned comment so you can read it for yourself and come up with your own opinions. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you like what we do here, every Monday through Friday, we post a cord cutting today, breaking down the biggest stories in the world of cord cutting and breaking news videos like this as they happen. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here by doing one or both. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of TV, but still watch the shows you enjoy. All right, late yesterday, Disney added a warning to the ABC app that said on September 23rd, the ABC app will shut down and no longer be available. Now this takes with it Disney's slowly growing free streaming service. They've been slowly adding content. They had over 20 live channels, including ESPN, ESPN 8, I should say. If you ever watched the Dodgeball movie, you know they made a joke about ESPN 8 being just weird sports. Disney leaned into that and has been um, having random ESPN 8 days on ESPN 2, and now had launched a 24-7 channel of it on the ABC app. Others include dedicated channels to their most popular shows on ABC and other Disney properties. There was over 20 of them at the time we recorded this video. Now, what's likely happening here is it's moving over to the Disney Plus. Now, uh, earlier this year, the information reported that Disney Plus was going to be adding live 24-7 channels to popular shows. And then the Wall Street Journal confirmed that move later as part of a reported overhaul of the Disney Plus app that will be coming soon. I suspect in the next month or so, we will see that overall happen. And a lot of this content that was free inside the ABC app is now going to go behind a paywall over at the Disney Plus app. Uh, Paramount and Warner Bros. Discovery have been doing this, shutting down apps, moving content over, pushing people to either Max or Paramount Plus. I think Disney's doing the same. They want people to come and move into the Disney Plus app with this. And in order to do that, they need to take the content away from ABC to maybe get more people to subscribe to the Disney Plus app. What does this mean for TV Everywhere? Uh, unknown. Uh, we're not sure if you're going to be able to use your TV Everywhere credentials to log into the uh, Disney Plus app. My gut says probably not. Now we have seen the Disney Plus app start getting bundled into some different cable companies, including Spectrum, but most do not have that. I think, um, let's be honest, when TV Everywhere apps happened, there was no streaming option from your cable company. If you were a Comcast customer and you weren't home, you were out of luck. Well, now you could take your Comcast credentials, log into ABC or ESPN app. Well, now most of these cable TV and core cutting services have their own apps. You can use your content to watch your ABC content both on demand and DVR and live through the YouTube TV app, the Comcast app, Spectrum app, whatever it may be. The need for an ABC app to log in and get access to your content no longer is there. For core cutters, the real loss here is all the free content. You used to be able to get um, some select free episodes of shows on demand, also live content um, on these channels for free. If you would log in with your cable provider or TV provider, you would get even more content and more channels with that. I think this is a growing trend. The, the cost of maintaining these apps is, is a noticeable. It's not a zero sum cost. They have constantly have to do patches, add new content. There's people who do that that I'm sure they would rather be working on their other streaming services. I suspect that many other cable networks and broadcast TV networks will continue to shut down their apps in 2024 to promote their paid subscription services like Disney Plus, Peacock, Paramount Plus, and Max. Sad news though, we just lose a bunch of free content there with it. If you're not a Disney Plus customer, you're out of luck now probably. No date on when this will be moved over. It also has not officially been announced. It just, this lines up perfectly with the reports from the Wall Street Journal and the information. So let me know, were you a user of the ABC app? I was actually quite impressed with the amount of uh, and the quality of free content in it. Sadly, you only have a few more weeks if you want to try it out to take advantage of it. 
Well, there you go. Breaking news. If you like what we do here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up for more videos just like this one. Until next time, take care. Be safe. I'll talk to you all again real soon.